जय हिंद फ्रेंड्स आई हैव स्टार्टेड अ सीरीज ऑन मेडिटेशन एंड आई हैव गिवन यू टू वीडियोस फर्स्ट इज माइंड एंड सेकंड इज मेडिटेशन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द थर्ड पॉइंट टू हैव first is mind which i have already discussed second is meditation that also i have discussed third is mosh and fourth is mahatvakanksha or ambition now nirvana jainism says kavalya enlightenment point is what exactly these words mean now spiritualism for majority people is a work which is to be done when all the worldly tasks are over drawback of spiritualism if you start doing meditation at the age of 20 people will be angry on you in india are you what you are doing all this drama live your life at the age of 50 and 60 you should do it so what generally the people think first drawback of meditation in india present scenario the people think ki it's a Thing to be done once your worldly obligations are over. This is the first drawback. You never know when they will over. People die while fulfilling worldly obligations. Second thing, a very negative message has been given about this by the rivals of Indian culture because. this is the thing if you understand this this is the thing gazi islam says gazi victorious victorious on what victorious on what so please say ki victorious on non muslims
why why economy why not second objective god economy see the practicality please pay attention you will be able to connect second economy third enjoyment very surprising why god at the last moksha liberation at the last why 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 economy has got the second priority gyan has got the first priority enjoy economy has got the second priority enjoyment has got the third priority liberation has got last priority very scientific every human being starts his life from senses and the enjoyment which you get from senses is called as karma the enjoyment which you get from senses is called as karma then the second part of human life which is hidden invisible ram or conscious every human being starts his life from senses every maybe there may be some exceptions because of their past karmas or because of natural gift god's gift but every human being starts his life from senses especially part a part b come to come ram <clears throat> kaam is related to senses ram is related to conscience and every human being first let's see the first part kaam enjoyment related to senses but senses have limitations senses become weak with the passage of time this is the biggest drawback of senses senses do not give absolute knowledge sensual pleasures pay attention finally turn into pain all these are the drawbacks of senses human life starts from here it starts from here first guru of every human being senses but drawbacks it has limitation you are fond of biryani you ate one kg of biryani your belly is full till here but you want more to eat that you cannot do you will die immediately all other holes in the body will become active senses will become weak extra use of senses diabetes is a disease of rich people mainly a disease of rich people because they have money so why why second preference is given to economy so that you can enjoy your senses and when you will earn money and you will give momentum to your senses 
you will feel after some time that there is a limit. If you are conscious, you are a limit. You cannot sleep with 20 women in one night. Limitation. And the vice versa. They will become weak. Extra use will become weak. Amar Singh was in a hospital, ICU, for two years. In Swami Karamir, 75 years of young man, runs 30 km every day, 75 years of age. Go to his ashram, meet him. Swami Karamir, Patanjali Ashram. Just write down the name in YouTube, Swami Karamir. See him, the energy he has, the power he has, 75 year old. I don't call him old man. He is a young man. He jumps into the Ganga Canal without life jacket. He wakes up at 3 a.m. in the morning. Amar Singh had 2,000 crores. He is living in an ashram. And without practical knowledge, without practical experience, when you leave certain thing or you accept certain thing, it becomes useless. This is what priests are doing. They are asking you to neglect money. They are asking you to neglect senses. How can you do that? You become the victim of internal conflict. Your senses demand something else. Your mind says something else. Why missionary school children make their place in different parts? Why not these uh, educational institutions run by religions? Every religion runs its own religious institution. Rarity of rare, you will find a gem from there. You will find gem. There also you will find gems. But not as you find in missionary schools. Why? But they have limitations. Senses have limitation. They become weak. They are not the source of absolute knowledge. You touched a rope in the night and you felt it's a snake. And the person died because of heart attack. Every sensual pleasure. You like ice cream? So it's... But if a person is suffering from diabetes? If he tries to enjoy, immediately it will turn into a pain. This is the limitation of senses. And here comes religion. religion. Every religion, every Islam, Hinduism, Christianity, Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism, all of them emphasize on Sajda. You go to a mosque, you will find Muslims doing Sajda. You go to Gurdwara, Sikh doing Sajda. You go to temple, Hindus doing Sajda. Why? Why? Because your head is the center of senses. All the five doors are here. All. Carry on the diagram. All the five doors are here. Second, 
knows. Third, ears. Fourth, tongue. Fifth, skin. And the most sensitive skin, lips. And the master of these five doors, mind. They all report to mind, all. They, 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 mind is a boss. They all report. And if mind is blind, they trust. And in this sense, they are already blind. They are not blind. They have covered their eyes. Kandari. See? They trust. Blind. Born blind. Born. Gandhari, five senses, covers its eyes. And then, sir, Duryodhan. In spite of all the talent, Duryodhan is bound to fail. So now, now what to do? Dharma, economy, earn money. Don't negate the importance of money. Enjoy. Then you will have the practical experience. His senses have limitation. Senses are weak. Senses do not give absolute knowledge. All sensual pleasures turn into pain. I gave you the example. Amar Singh and Swami Karmi. You can go and meet Swami Karmi in Patanjali Ashram. Now, now what to do? Here comes the concept of Guru. And Indian philosophy says, Indian philosophy gives the concept of Paras. Paras is a mythical stone. When it touches iron, Iron becomes gold. There is no such stone. It's a symbolic thing for us. Guru, who has overcome mind and senses and he has become Ghazi. Victorious on himself. Gandhi is not a Ghazi. Babar is not a Ghazi. Nizamuddin Aliya is a Ghazi. Moinuddin Chishti is a Ghazi. Sadhguru is a Ghazi. So when you will meet this Guru, he will give you a mantra. Dhyan. Meditation on what? On these two things. Eyes. You have to keep your eyes. You have to keep concentration on these doors and the boss. That is called as dhyan.
You have to keep your eyes on these doors and the master. That is called as dhyan. Every moment, every second. If you, and you, there is a, today you see, WhatsApp. WhatsApp has become a hell in India. The type of videos they send, killing, rape, accidental. Well, you open a WhatsApp and you see a, such a content that your whole entire body becomes cold. And if you, do, you are doing it repeatedly, there is a possibility you will die of heart attack. This is what happened with Corona. So whatever you watch, you should be in meditation. Dhyan. Ki what is going into this mind from this door? Nose. You have to keep Dhyan. What is going in this mind through this door? Ears. Very important. Again you see the WhatsApp. WhatsApp groups are real fighters of Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Brahmins of Parashuram. Karni Sena and they put up the content in such a way that if you read all those things and all these doors are sending their material there finally here turn most dangerous door you are fond of sweets you took one kg of sweets you became the victim of diarrhea And the master. So when you go to the temple and the mosque or the church or the Gurdwara, you bow down and you say to God, Allah and Bhagavan, Ki please, please help me. You bow down, you put your head down. So that he can give you the blessing. Okay, nothing wrong will go inside. People do sajda today simply as a tradition. They see others doing. You go and stand on the uh, stairs of a temple. If three people will touch first floor, first stair, others will also touch. Go, four, five people, you make a group and go. Touch the first stair, then the tenth stair. Again, four, five people will touch. Then the last stair. Sajda. Every religion has the concept of Sajda. So that you can ask to God, Allah and Bhagavan, Ki please help me so that I can keep my concentration on these doors and the master. Dhyan. Dhyan is not a big thing. Many of you were asking, so please speak on meditation. Just. If rubbish is entering into your ears throughout the day, Manisha was a Dalit lady. Dalit has, uh, Dalit lives matter. Then Nikita. Rakhut lives matter. And she was a Rakhut girl and no one is taking. Sir, both were women. Both are suffering. You just imagine, unnecessary material is moving into your mind. And it's a limitless reservoir. Limitless. Actually, there is no mind. But we cannot say it in the first stage. As there is no darkness in the world, Absence of light is called as darkness. Darkness has no existence. It is existential. Like dreams. You cannot prove that there is a dream. There are two things in life. World. Existence. Existential. Existential. You cannot prove. But they are there.
And once you meet this man, and he asks you to come to the ashram, you stay in the ashram, Sadhguru's ashram, Pandit Ravi Shankar's ashram, Divya Jyoti Jagrat Sansthan, Ashutosh Maharaj's ashram. What are you taught? 10 days, 15 days, what are you taught? Keep your eyes, keep your concentration on these doors and the master. And once these doors start giving positive things, from senses, you start moving towards conscience. Don't negate. See, Mukti. Mukti from what? Senses. Once these things come under the control of conscious, that cover on the eyes comes down. They start performing in such a way. Same things. They are the things which take you to the hell. They are the things which take you to the heaven. A person who is completely healthy at the age of 80. You can imagine his happiness, enjoyment, ecstasy. 80. Imagine your life starts from karma. Don't negate it. Don't negate. Now, what is the mistake which generally we do? So, your life starts from karma, that is, senses. And then don't negate it. What these priests do? They negate sex. Will take you to hell. They have to overcome it. No, no. Then they become silent. Liquor will take you to hell. How to overcome it? They become silent. Simple. Very simple. Once you start watching your senses, it's a very important phenomena. Which Indian culture calls Dhyan. You are fond of sweets? Take a piece of it, put it in your mouth. At least see the watch for two minutes. Your mind will get the taste. In what what you do, you give taste to stomach and sweets to mind. Stomach. Stomach never gets the taste. Who gets the taste? I said all these senses the report to mind. But you put the sweet in your mouth. Do it as an experiment. Just keep the piece of a suit in your mouth. Keep it for two minutes. Watch the Just keep a watch in front of you and take two minutes. Close your eyes. Feel the taste. Your excitement of eating more sweets will immediately come down. This is called as Dhyan. Watching the doors and the mind. Now what will happen? What will happen? You'll understand them. Understand them. Don't 
negate. Don't hate. Don't feel guilty. Understand. If you are living at senses, you will be foodie. You will be foodie. There were some exceptions also, like Swami Ramakrishna Paramahansa. He was very much fond of food. So most of the time when he used to give pravachan to his disciples, in between he used to get up and go into the kitchen to Mashaka. And he used to take some food, eat and come. Mashaka used to say to him, hey, why you do this? It looks so cheap. And what your disciples will think? He said, don't worry. And then one day he said to Mashaka, okay, to be on this earth, you have to make one of your sons alive. And the day I will not come into your kitchen or I will remove the plate of food in front of me. That means after three days I will leave the body. And this happened one day. Mashada brought the food in front of him and he removed the plate. And Mashada started crying. There should be one bond to remain here. And once you start watching them, once you understand, once you watch, they start becoming dormant. Your mind starts becoming dormant. And then you start your journey towards conscious. Unlimited. No limitation. Unlimited. These Western countries, capitalist. They have spread certain rumors. Sannyasi means escapist. No. You can be a sannyasi in a jeans and t-shirt. Sannyasi means awakened. Simple. He can be, he can be a virus officer. He can be a minister. Mukti from what? Senses. How? <clears throat> Nirvana? Blowing out. Senses. Kaval? Complete understanding of senses. Ghazi? Victory on senses. But if you have lived with senses for 20 years, just imagine the strength. If you have lived with them for 30 years, 40 years, you develop the habit in 10 days. And if you have lived with them for 20 years, do you think you will understand them in one day? No. It is said about India, Kuch baat hai ki hasti mein mitti nahi hamari, sadyo raha hai dushman dore jaha hamara. Bharat will survive forever. Bharat means Gyan. The art of moving from calm to Ram. Senses to conscious. This is visible. This is invisible. Air is invisible. But that does not mean there is no air. Ether is invisible. But that does not mean there is no ether, there is no sky. And the things which are invisible, you require certain lenses. You require certain technique, meditation. You close your eyes. You have to open this eye, third eye. Start from five minutes. This is the requirement of India at present time. Why Bharat was great? Bharat, ancient India. Because we were following this formula. The children were born, they were given the scope from human being to God. Today, they are being given the scope, engineer, doctor, IS, from the very beginning. 
And if you are given the scope till God, and you call it become center minister, you'll be satisfied because your scope was to become God. Your aim was to become God. But if your aim is IS, IS is a destination in your journey. Engineer is a destination in your journey. Doctor is a destination in your journey. Don't run away. Turn to your roots. Turn towards Indian Gurus, Sadhguru. And one more thing. Here are Indian Gurus. They are all our fraud. Have you ever seen the note currency of 300 rupees? No. There is no original of it. Fake can be created only of original. And for the fear of fake, you will not leave original. Many of my friends, colleagues, students, they are suffering. They are not getting the way. Why? They are in dilemma. This they don't know. This they don't understand. The first requirement to move here is to understand the senses. First requirement. Don't neglect. Don't negate. Don't oppose. Don't hate. Understand. Watch. Who will help you? Paris. Who is Paris? Sadhguru. Pandit Ravishankar. Ashutosh Maharaj. And XYZ. Any man of your choice. Don't run away from the world. Understand. Once you understand, things become clear. Running away means suppression. Hope this video will be of great help to you, all of you. Don't be disappointed. In the last video, next video, it's on Mahatokancha and Ambition. I'll tell you some other formulas. But here, you have the options. Don't check out on YouTube how to do meditation. What is There are many people who have, please, meditation you can learn from the proper gurus. You see, I explained the background, I stop here. Why? Because they are the professionals. They are the experts. They will give you more dimension. They have more time. They are doing it personally. Don't get disappointed. Don't be depressed. Define. And defeat. Thank you. Thank you.